Hi and welcome to Anime CC of Car Animation. What I'm going to do now is to show you guys how to put together something like this with a beautiful background. So let's do that now, guys. I'm going to close this and start a new tutorial entirely. Let's go to File New and let's select Action Strip 3.0. Click on OK. There we go. Now, the next thing I want to do is maybe just change the size of the stage to 600 by 400 and that is fine. I'm going to now come in here and just sort of like zoom in a little bit. The next thing I want to do is to go to my file and let's import to the stage the card that I intend to use. Let's go to my USB there and that is the car, the red car. Go to the library, that's it. If the library is not there, just go to Windows and click on that. There we go. Drag the car, just dump it on board. That is the car right there. As you can see, the car do have background. So what I'm gonna do right out here is I'm gonna go to modify break apart you see you can see those pixels the car is now broken apart now click on the last year and select magic one click on the background and delete repeat the same thing for the lower part of it delete let's get rid of any other scrap that is remaining just get rid of them all there now let's bring the car right in here or if you want you can still leave it in here and bring it all later you see this wheel they are all there as one whole object on their own so you see the wheel you can move it away and you can return it so i'm going to right click on that wheel select convert to symbol and i will just call it car wheel there we go that's good enough for me. You see this other wheel? I'm going to delete that. Don't need that anymore. But this very wheel that I've just created, the car wheel, that's enough. Double click on the car wheel. And what I will now do is select this transformation tool here, or free transform tool. And go to frame number two. Press F6. Or you can right click and select insert keyframe. And there, just roll it. Repeat the same thing here. There, F6, there we go. Okay, once you finish inserting the keyframe, let's select the layer and just right click inside the frames. Select create classic twinning, and that's it. So let's go back to the scene. There we go. Now we can now copy the second wheel here, the very wheel itself, not the second one. Drag it on board. There. Let's position that properly and just move it down a little bit there if you go to control testing what you will see is let's get it on the stage so that you can see what's going to happen what you guys will see is you will see the wheel spinning let's bring this somewhere there and just run there we go you see the wheels are spinning now let's add background i'm gonna close this let's give it a name just call it car anyway now inside the new layer now we now need a background let's go to file import to stage i want another i want a background let's get this very background here there the background is right here drag it drop it right there i want to change the size of that background so i'll go to the properties and just change that to 600 by 400 and click on align make sure align to stage is selected click on the horizon align horizontally and align vertically there is now dead centered now I will reduce the size of this so that as you guys can see what I'm going to do next. I will now copy this very background. Press Ctrl D. Once you press Ctrl D, that is what you get. So what I will now do is get the transformation tool and just swing it around. 
make sure the size is the same 600 by 400 there that is fine see that that is fine so let's see if it's well flushed to the first background image so that is fine good I'm going to reduce it I will now copy both image Control D and just move this one and dump it right there yeah and bring it in okay that's fine that is fine so what I will now do is the choice is yours I'll group all of the images together select it all go to modify and just select group it's now one whole image you can just give it a name and call it road there now let's go to frame 120 120 right there right click and select insert keyframe there we go now right click up here or just before then let's click on that and just move the image across let's move it across so just with the arrow key just moving it across and there that is good enough for me yeah that's fine so I'm now going to now bring it in so you can see it okay right here underneath here where I have the car I'm gonna press F5 here to copy the car, the car across there and for the road just click in anywhere on the frame and press and right click then select create classic 20 and there you can see it is twin along so let's go back to control and let's try it out when you try it out you won't be able to see the car because the car is underneath the, the road so let's move the car up first there we go now we have the car now right click or con just click on the control and press test same that is what you get but there's something here you see you can see the road showing inside the car I don't want that let's close that I am now going to create another layer I'll just call it BG and the BG is going to be in black color or dark color click on or maybe yeah let's click on rectangle and let's increase the size of the car itself and just draw the rectangle here like this I don't want that let's do it again yeah that's fine now repeat the same thing here right that's much better okay if we run it now this is what you will see okay increase that and that is how you create a car animation in anime CC so with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. Bye for now.